Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're going to meet Henry and look at his unique setup. You have a rooftop tent. I do, I do. And uh, you're just starting out? I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. So one of the ideas was a rooftop tent. Um, I do travel a lot, but when I stop, I like the comforts of home. Mm -hmm. So it, it's very comfortable up there. Right, and so how long have you been camping out of the rooftop tent? Uh, about three or four months. So that's enough to know pretty good idea of whether you like it or not. Yeah, yeah. And what's your verdict so far? No, I, I love it. I mean, it's it's. I do sleep in the car when I travel, but when I'm situated like this, uh, it takes me less than a minute to pop it up, and I could fall asleep very quickly. And let's mention that you uh, have what kind of car do you have? I have a 2007 Volvo XC70, which is all-wheel drive, and that's what I wanted. And so it, I can go anywhere I want and not a problem. You know, the Volvos have been around for, man, since I was a little kid. Volvo mm -hmm. wagons, they were kind of a cult thing. Mm -hmm. And I, I can remember looking at them and thought, man, you can sleep in there. It and it never occurred to the, <laughs> me to do this. Yeah, it's nice because it's long. Right. So, you know, I'm not that tall, but it's nice having the extra space at the front and back. And it's nice and comfortable. Right. It's, a fl it's also very flat in the back. And so you don't want to just pop the tent up willy-nilly. And yep. so while you're making driving, making distance, you just sleep inside the car. Exactly. Exactly. And the Volvo makes that really easy. It does. It really does. So if you want, I'll show you how, to, how it pops up. Well, okay, let's do that. Okay. So I, the safety straps are off, but it's really four clamps. All right. All right. Just give me two seconds. And I'm done. That wasn't all that hard. And no. that was no. very easy. There was not much to that. No. There's a canopy that goes out in the front, but if you want to put that up, that's fine. Right. But, yeah, like I said, it's it's very easy, and if you're tired, it's quick and dirty. And right. The bed's already set up, so my sleeping bag's already in there. And I just my dog goes upstairs, and he and I go together, and we're done. So you could pop this up on on the road, but it looks a little funny. It does. But yeah, you can pop it up anywhere. Right, so, when it's that fast. Yep. It comes down a little slower. It does. It's just it's more of shoving all the canopy or the canvas into it to make sure that you have a safe ride. Right. So getting it up and down is such child's play that that really shouldn't keep anyone from buying one. No, no, not, not at all. Not at all. And it's long enough? How, how long is it on the inside? Uh, it's a little over six feet. I haven't really quite measured, but I'm 5'10", and I can stretch out, and I have room on in either side of me. And it's plenty wide. If worse comes to worse, you could probably sleep in a little bit of a diagonal. I can't. Uh, this is a full this is a full size mattress. Right. So, so I'm it's, sure it's plenty. Yeah. I mean, you could get three people nice and tied in there, but my wife and I can go very comfortably in there. And, uh, oh, you and your wife have slept in there. And oh, yeah. There, yep. So. Yep. Good. And uh, do you mind, what's the brand name on this one? You know what? I don't know. I bought it used. Oh. Uh, you know, the bad news is these things are brand new and they're very expensive. Right. But I was able to find one that uh, someone had just done a cross-country trip and was sitting underneath his deck and just wanted to get rid of it. So I bought it really cheap. But they could go anywhere between two to three thousand dollars. Right. Now. They can be really yeah. expensive. Yeah, you can. So I bought this one for eight hundred dollars, and it doesn't have. I'm sure if I really looked, I could probably find the name brand, but I don't know what it is off the top right. of my head. But you've been really happy with it yeah. over the last few months. You've been using it. Yeah, and it handles rain very well. I came cross country during uh, the storms and uh, torrential rains. Not a problem. Uh, it rained here a couple of days ago and uh, bone dry, so Good. not a problem. So it's tinting, that's the best of tinting. Yep. Fast setup, one of the things I dislike about a tent is this time to set it up, time to take it down. Mm -hmm. But this isn't just nothing. Yeah, it is. And I, and I do carry a tent with me just in case I need to, but I've never had to use it. Right, 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 right. So it looks like a pretty great thing. It is, it is. And the ladder uh, is one of the folding ones I see, and it goes inside, or? Yeah, so it does collapse, and then you just, before you travel, you just throw it inside, and it, it fits right in. Good. So it looks like a great way to go. It is. It is. Great way to go. Uh, would you mind if we took a look inside? Sure, go right ahead. Uh, would you find... Oh, so it hooks. It does so hook. it can't just slip. Yep. So let me put the... Uh canopy up. That 
That was quick and easy. That is, and it's good for when it rains, it, it, right. it shreds off. I'll take the camera in, folks, and we'll take a look around. It's a little dark in here, but... Uh, well, you want it to be dark. You're going to sleep. <laughs> so, seems, seems like a very uh, reasonable uh, thing to yeah, me. That's... So it's it's a full size bed, um, and it's you know it's got the little cubby holes so you can put things into, and uh, like I said, it's a th it's a three three inch uh, memory foam mattress, so it's it's nice and comfortable. Yeah, really big, really. Really nice yep. for for just sleeping. Uh, really comfortable. All you need. It is. It really is. Yeah, I can see this working really, really well. Mm -hmm. And you got a fan over I, here. I do have a fan. So and that one's probably just battery powered. It is. Literally. It is. Good. Nice. 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 Thank you. Yeah, that looks like a really good way to go. It is. Really good is. way to go. And uh, you've got a nice camp set up outside. Yes, it's uh, it's it's something that we well I custom built. Oh, you uh, built this? That's yeah, a so, nice, nice setup. So it's a point away set, setup. So it's nice uh, when I travel, like all comes in, uh, and it hitches up to the back. Mm -hmm. And but when I'm settled, like put my stove up, um, and have a nice little home. Really great. Really, really great, great camp. Yeah, a little really camping great. setup. Yep. All right. Well, Henry, thank you so much for sharing your uh, your system with us. I think this is one I would really gladly emulate. And you probably get pretty good gas mileage with the Volvo. I do. I get about 22, 23. Wow. And with it, with the tent off, I'm probably a mile difference. So, so maybe maybe a mile yeah. per hour loss yeah. per gallon. Mm -hmm. Super. Yeah. As those of us in getting uh, between seven and fifteen, that's uh, <laughs> that's only a dream. Yeah. Yes, it is. So thank you. Well, Henry, thank you so much for sharing your, uh, your home with us. I really, really appreciate it. No, my pleasure. Folks, I know you got some really good ideas out of this. If you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later.